It's easy, this coaching lark, isn't it, Jan? Said it again. It's easy to... Xavi Alonso's made this look easy. Come in, yeah, take him through. Yeah, Up, there uh, you go. I bish, bash, bosh. Let's put it this way. He, it, it makes it it's so easy to be a coach as he was as a player. Uh, I mean, he, he, everything looks easy then as well when he played for Bayern Munich, Real Madrid or, or Liverpool. Uh, w w what it is, by when you see a, a winning team like Bayer Leverkusen, you can say that the team kind of mirror the coach. His team with a great attitude, good balance, always concentrated, always wanting the ball, always calm. I have had the pleasure a couple of three times to work with him this season. And as Archie will probably confirm 100%, he is the nicest guy to make an interview with. He is just there. He is for you. He gives you the impression that just in this moment, you are the most important man that I will talk to from all my life. And he will do this with like 10 people the same day. And I think that it's, it's like the players as well. You, you feel that he is there for you. And how he's rotated his squad this season, doing changes, seven changes now, going to the Europa League, changing again. Patrick Schick in the team, out of the team. Florian Wirtz today, out of the team. And, and always getting goals at the end of, of, of the games. That just shows you that Xabi Alonso has managed to take his attitude, his personality to affect his players. And the player and the team look like Xabi Alonso. So then, first manager ever to lead by Leverkusen. Yep to victory in the Bundesliga. Could be the first manage, manager ever in the history of the Bundesliga to take a team unbeaten. How difficult is it to achieve that? And how much are you bothered by it if you're a player? <laughs> I don't know. Like, where, how motivated are you? Well, I think you're motivated. I mean, I think that we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks exactly how motivated. Uh, the European tie, that's easy. Mm. Um, but... You're going to play against a, a, a Dortmund side uh, in the match after you clinch the title. It's it's almost like it happened too early. A lot will depend on the opposition. Yeah. Well, because whatever you say, regardless of, you know. So, for example, you got Dortmund away next weekend. Yeah. It, it, Regardless of the opposition, there's an edge missing yes. if you play for Bayer Leverkusen. There's right. the edge of that bit of pressure. That extra bit of pressure is what makes you be at your best if you're a real player. Right. And when that edge is taken away because you don't need it, then for me it becomes... It depends on the opposition. Because yeah. if the opposition are at it, it becomes way harder. OK. And so the fact that it's Borussia Dortmund next week will depend on how Borussia Dortmund see this. Well, and Dortmund are fighting to get into Champions League. They're so, out of the Champions League spots right now. So they, they bring that points. edge. They bring that yeah, edge. Yeah, they have to bring so, that so edge. So how it's much psychology. does wanting to be unbeaten give you an edge? Mm, does it, no. Is it no? That's no, where I was going. That's what yeah. I was trying to... No, it, it, that, it's all about the psychology right. of what's left. And that's, why I, and that's why I said that I think it's more on the opposition. If they've got a good... I don't know who they play after Dortmund, but if they're playing against teams in the middle of the table then there's, a, there's, a, there's an opportunity to go undefeated. Yeah, your talent will rise above that. Yeah. yeah, if you're playing against teams who are fighting for survival yeah. or fighting for a top four spot, then the, it, it, changes the, it changes the whole dynamic. No, because the psychologically, Bayer Leverkusen players will have lost an edge the next time they play in the Bundesliga. Now, the part where it helps Leverkusen a little bit, not that not, not helps them on that edge, because that edge is 100% true, is you've got a big enough squad and you have some really important games coming up where you're still not sure if you're going to be playing or not. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure every time you step on the pitch that you better perform because there's clearly someone that isn't playing, that is performing, and has an argument that they should have been starting. Mm -hmm. So there's enough internal competition right. that is still keeping enough of an edge, but psychologically it's, important. it's impossible. Right. There's a reason why in individual sports... World championships aren't broken at just the random meet somewhere. They're broken in when three or four people in the same field are all fighting for a single, and that rises you to the occasion. And, yeah, I mean, if they're able to do it after clinching this so early, the mentality that has been instilled from Alonzo is truly spectacular. Uh, Jan? 
Yeah, but I think that let's. There are three things now for the rest of the season. It's the Europa League. They have uh, got a good uh, start now with, with West Ham. And then there is the German Cup, and then it's going unbeaten. Of these three things, to get go through the season unbeaten is number three. And then you can see the only thing that can ruin somehow Leverkusen's season is that the last game of the season is the Pokal final, the Cup final, at home against Kaiserslautern, third level in Germany. Uh, that is the only fear. So I think that what the boys are saying is right, of course. But it's also down to how can he uh, strengthen the performance culture at Leverkusen to say that you won't be a part of the final in the Europa League if we come there. We, we, you won't be playing for 90,000 or 80,000 there is in, in Berlin at the last game of the season. The Pokal, the, the FA Cup, is a big, big thing in Germany. So they can take the double. That's why I'm saying that to be unbeaten, that would be a consequence of, of their performance, of, of the performance of the day. Do I think that they will... I think that it's, it's perfect now to go to Dortmund, the first game after they won the, the championship. Because when you go to Dortmund, you get so much for free because you always want to do well there because the atmosphere is fantastic. 